hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The Heavenly well, Father, I confess my sins. I forgive all those that have sinned against me. Lord, I ask you to take all evil out of my life and heart and out of the lives and hearts of every Christian. Help us to be good people who do not harm others. Because Matthew 22 says one of the two most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. Lord, Matthew 21 and Matthew 7 and John 14 both say, ask and you shall receive. Lord, I ask you to not allow us to harm others or to want to harm others. I ask this for me and every Christian in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Matthew 22 says one of the two most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 7 says do unto others as you would have done unto you. Luke 6 says love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them, and don't be concerned that they might not repay. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, John chapter 14 says that Jesus said, if we love him, we are to keep his commandments. First Thessalonians 5 says, we are to pray without ceasing. So if others make us mad, we should stay on our knees and pray to treat them right. I repeat, John chapter 14 says that Jesus told us, if we love him, we are to keep his commandments. And First Thessalonians 5 says, we are to pray without ceasing. So when others make us mad or seem annoying or act annoying or get on our nerves, we should pray on our knees that we will treat those who are nuisances or annoying the way that we would treat people who have not bothered us or who have not been annoying or nuisances at all. We should pray to treat all people annoying or not like people who are not annoying. We should try, I meant, we should pray that the Lord would help us treat bad people like good people. Because Mark 9 says all things are possible to those who believe. And Matthew 22 says we are to love our neighbor as our self.